Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the video. We're going to be discussing G Sync. What? I hear you scream. What the hell is G Sync? Well, the video are trying to remedy the core and traditional problem with V Sync. Now, V Sync, in case you're not exactly familiar, um, there's a major problem with it, and that is that a display, in other words, a screen, refreshes at a certain interval. And a graphics card will render at a certain frame rate, but the two are not interconnected. And so you can enable VSync to try and mesh them up. So the purpose of VSync is basically that it will try to render a frame for each of the um, refreshes on a monitor, right? So in other words, you can get like a 60 hertz display, and that means that 60 times per second that screen will refresh. On the other hand, you can have a, monitor, a graphics card and that can render it whatever. So for example, depending on the resolution, it could be 60 frames per second, or it could be considerably more, or it could be considerably less, depending upon multiple things, such as of course resolution and much, much more besides. So, NVIDIA are trying to correct this, and how they're trying to correct it is using G-Sync. Now this uses a combination of software and hardware technologies. And it will basically allow modern day GeForce GPUs to control variable display refresh rate on the monitor. And this monitor must be equipped with the G-Sync module. In short, traditionally, a screen will refresh whenever the hell it can. In other words, it will do it in a timely manner. So if you've got 60 hertz monitor, as I mentioned, it will do it 60 times a second, 120 hertz monitor, and so on, and so on, and so on. But with this new video, NVIDIA piece of technology, the idea is that it will only refresh when there's a new frame of animation to actually pop back onto the screen. Now, NVIDIA in a conference demonstrated this piece of technology on 144 4 hertz, 144 hertz ASUS panels. Now, obviously, they will actually cap the maximum GPU present. So, there's no way in hell that on a <clears throat> high end game you'll be able to get 144 frames per second. But, regardless, what it will basically do, even if you can, even if, for example, you're going to be doing something silly like playing the game in 800 by 600, it will actually cap the GPU at that refresh rate of the monitor. Moreover, it has a lower threshold as well, which is 30 hertz, because NVIDIA and, of course, the manufacturers know that anything less than that, you're start, going to start getting screen flickering. Now, there is other parts to this. NVIDIA have said that there's other parts of the G-Sync module which, according to them, deals with some of the funny side effects of LCDs when the driver is written asynchronously. But, they wouldn't go into the details yet of why this is. Obviously, because it's not released, NDAs and much more besides. So, the new piece of technology won't actually be unveiled until the first quarter of next year. However, they will be releasing the G-Sync boards for modding before the end of the year. So basically, how this works is that a particular type of ASUS monitor, which is the VG248QE, I'm going to say that one more time, VG248QE, so that users will be able to actually mod their own screen to install this board or you can get a professional fitter to do it for you or if you wait until the first quarter of next year asus themselves will start selling the screen with this particular board built in and then of course other monitor manufacturers can start to do their own thing as well the controller has at least free 256 megabyte memory uh, devices on the actual board itself although we cannot presently see what's on the back obviously this is to store frame information and so on and we have a little bit and i do stress that word a little bit of information on how it all works it will utilize the display port only from what we understand and the video actually utilizes the timing by um using a V blank signal to indicate a refresh. And so NVIDIA said that 
it's not going to be significantly modifying the DisplayPort protocol itself. And they were actually demoing this technology utilizing two identical systems, but the difference was one um, had, of course, this new uh, G-Sync and the other didn't. And what they found is that, of course, when the game was running exactly 60, and I would say had benchmarking software, which could be manipulated into running 60 frames per second, and of course, it looked amazing. The problem is, when you dipped to 50, you started to get lots and lots of stuttering. So, there you have it. I mean, that's been a big problem with games for a while now. Obviously, consoles have exactly the same problem. And so, the video ran this on multiple different tests, um, including uh, titles they created themselves, as well as um, Lara Croft from Tomb Raider they even demoed it with as well. So, over the next couple of years, of course, the technology for the monitors are going to become more and more and more prevalent. They're actually saying that the board themselves, they want to try and get down to sub $100. So for image, image quality enthusiasts, it's going to be an incredible piece of technology. Obviously, for most people, they're not going to feel comfortable to just rip open their monitor and do whatever the hell they need to do with it. But obviously, there are also going to be a lot of shops that will, and no doubt services, which are going to start springing up to just do this. And in addition, of course, you will be able to actually buy monitors pretty soon, first quarter of next year, which are automatically going to have this thing fitted. So in short, if you're thinking about buying a new monitor and you're doing it for gaming, if I were you, wait. Don't buy it yet unless you're incredibly confident in just being able to fit this board yourself. Don't do it. Wait. Get the new screen with this new technology and enjoy it assuming of course you want to go with the nvidia graphics card it does look a very cool piece of technology indeed and i for one welcome our g-sync overlords anyway i'm gonna get going on this particular video so as per normal if you've got any questions you're best to reach me on facebook until the website is up and running with the forum and stuff i know i know you guys uh, i am working on it in the background you can't see it yet but trust me the site is looking amazing and so it will be uh, up and running hopefully by the end of this weekend slash early next week anyway i'm gonna get going so i'll see you soon take care bye for now